Welcome back to Ferris Sports Update. Time to talk women's basketball. And with us, head coach Kendra Foston. Coach, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Obviously, uh, here now into the month of February, uh, mm -hmm. you've battled some adversity with some injuries and stuff mm -hmm. here over the, the past month. Uh, just talk about how resilient your kids have, have been, and obviously they've been playing uh, well here in the second half of the year. Yeah, that's a perfect word is resilient. Um, you know, we, we are always uh, changing things, um, talking about handling change and adversity and, and uh and in the belief that that we can figure it out and next up step up and i've uh, been really proud of our group and and you know we've been people have been out of the lineup back in the lineup then back out again um and figuring that out um i think riley blair and honey brumfield um and kelsey wyman and brian benner have really really you know stepped up um without a couple of our guards in the lineup whether it's scoring or defensive or rebounding and so um, you know, I think um, this past week, Brian Benner was the epitome of, of resilience and, and mental, you know, being mentally tough and struggling the first half and having, making some big baskets in the, in the second half and free throws. Obviously, uh, this past week on the road, uh, after you'd been playing well at home, you went on the road to Saginaw Valley yeah. in Northwood, and we'll start with Saginaw Valley on Thursday night, and uh, just talk about that game, obviously got off to a good start. Yeah, we got off to a good start. I thought we did a lot of really great things. Um, we str struggled at times uh, rebounding and um, uh, taking care of the ball, which has been a little bit of our Achilles heel l lately. Um, so, I, you know, I thought I thought our, the pace was a little bit slower than, than we typically play, um, but we were patient. We executed when it mattered. Um, you know, I thought Riley Blair really got us going. You can see her here uh, scoring inside. And then she, she hits a three. Um, you know, she's rebounding well as well and really stepping up for us. You can, yeah, here she's, she's hitting a three. It was nice to have Shy back on the court, handling the ball, directing traffic. Um, you know, that's another one I didn't even talk about was Emily Cott coming in and, and both games, both uh, this weekend, really, really contributing. Um, so I, I was pleased with our overall effort and when, really when it mattered, uh, we made some big plays offensively, certainly. Obviously, you had a one point lead after uh, the first quarter, uh, mm -hmm. able to expand it. A uh, close game, though, at halftime here is uh, it was kind of back and forth uh, most of the night. Yeah, certainly it was a battle. I mean, um, you know, on the road in conference. It, those are those are always tough games, and we're getting we're getting everybody's best, and um, you know we're we're putting together our best right now. Obviously, uh, you talked about Riley Blair uh, finished with 21 points, and she scores right here. Uh, Shania Huggins in double figures, but uh, Brian Benner uh, got to be pleased with what she did on the on the glass. Uh, 20 rebounds in the game. It, I mean, it's remarkable, and and not just rebounds that are coming her way, uh, but rebounding outside of her area and going and getting the ball and running the floor and playing major minutes and fighting through that and. You know, it's, it's February, so everyone's tired and sore. It's college basketball season. It's a really long season, and uh, she just has battled and battled and continued to battle. Um, and, and, you know, she struggled from the field. Um, her, her one make uh, was, was that one right there, and um, it was a big one. And then, you know, she made two free throws to ice the game and put us up four. Um, that execution, she made that pass on the back door, um, the back door play for us to, you know, uh, basically seal the game. You get the win, uh, 60 to 56, and obviously mm -hmm. some big plays made there uh, down the stretch, and no question. had to give you some confidence going maybe into Saturday's road game. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, it wasn't quite the pace that we wanted to play, and and so we're we're still working on that. Um, you know, we we can't press as much. Um, if I had to do it all over again, you know, we probably would uh, press a little bit here and there just because it keeps us aggressive. I keep saying that, and then we get in the game, I'm like, oh, we don't have the people to do it, but we need to do it anyways. <laughs> Um, so, so that's where certainly we, we I can grow, we can grow. Um, but yeah, feeling good going into, uh, you know, Saturday and, um, you know, really just, just pushing through, wanting to do some of the, some of the same things. Uh, Northwood really shoots the ball well. Um, so we wanted to keep them off the three point line. And, uh, we did that for a couple quarters. Obviously, as we go to the highlights of Saturday's yeah. game at Northwood, uh, another, uh, game where, uh, you got off to a good start and mm -hmm. it was, uh, very even uh, for most of the night. Yeah, certainly. Um, I thought we we started the game pounding the ball inside and Brain got to the free throw line, which was good. Uh, we cleaned up the boards early. I mean, and Bray, Brain's just affecting the game on defense. It's, it's, we can't take her off the floor. Um, and, and getting out in transition, which is we wanted a little bit quicker pace. Um, and you could see some scores here in transition and uh, Bray, you know, finishing around the rim. Um, and, and Really, a misnomer about 
Northwood is that, you know, they shoot the ball so well, but they get those shots off their dribble penetration. And that's really where we missed Adrian Anderson um, for, for defensive purposes. Um, and then she's really good passing around the rim. This is a great move by Renee Sterling. and they really were pressuring us and trying to get us um, to go at the rim. We, we did turn it over a lot, um, and that, that was disappointing. But when we settled in, uh, when we were comfortable here, uh, moving the basketball, uh, that, was, that was good stuff. Again, Bray in, in, in transition, trying to pick up the pace here a little bit. Obviously, uh, you uh, had the lead, uh, got into some foul trouble, and mm -hmm. then uh, you were able to put some other kids in there that really did a nice job for you in the first yeah, half. Yeah, I think uh, certainly Abby Nackbor right away comes, comes to mind. She was three for three. Um, I think she played six minutes in the first half, and she was three for three from the floor and had a rebound and, um, and an assist. And she just did a really, really great job. And you know, we worry when we take Brain out of the game that we lose rebounding, and, and Abby certainly did that in the first half. Obviously, uh, here in the uh, third quarter, uh, it was it was very even. But then in the fourth quarter, they mm -hmm. kind of uh, found a way to make some some big plays to pull out the win. Yeah, one we, we didn't take care of the ball very well, and then um, you know we could do a better job of that. Um, and then and then two, we, we we have to we have to stop middle penetration because those threes were were penetrating kick threes, and um, you know we're gonna have to adjust that way. This week, back at home in a live national TV broadcast, yeah. first one ever at Wink Arena against a very good team in Ashland on Thursday night. Yeah, absolutely. We're looking forward to um, you know playing the best, and uh, yeah, they're really good. And um, you know we're we're glad to be here at Wink, and it's a great opportunity uh, for us to to showcase Ferris, Ferris State, Ferris Athletics, Ferris Women's Basketball, Ferris Men's Basketball. Um, you know we're a little bit biased over here, but it's a pretty special place, and we're doing a lot of great things and. Um, we're going to be able to. It's great for recruiting. It's great for alumni. It's great for parents. It's great for players that you know, families that that can't maybe get to games. And what a great opportunity, um, you know, to to use athletics and and promote our university. Finally, here and uh, obviously Ashland on Thursday night, Wayne mm -hmm. State on Saturday, and two yeah. tough opponents out here as you start the month of February. Yeah, we're we're glad to be home. We're glad it's February. To be honest with you, too, we have, February is a good month for us. Um, and so, yeah, we're, we're, we, we do love playing the wink. I mean, that's, that's no secret. Um, and, you know, we'll have a, we'll have a tough, tough game on Thursday and Saturday. And, uh, but we like to battle those, those tough games at home. Well, Coach, uh, thanks for being with us today. Best of luck to the Bulldogs this weekend, Thursday night, 5.30 p.m. and Saturday at 1. Thanks, Robert. That'll do it for Ferris Sports Update. Reminder, you can get all the action and all the results online at ferrisstatebulldogs.com. Have a great week.